Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. Uh, so it's um, really not a good morning. Uh, I would like to show you first uh, these images. Guys, we're back uh, here to the mechanic because uh, we, can... okay. we were driving uh, to go away from here because uh, we have an appointment. Uh, we want to make some uh, new cool adventures, uh, but uh, while we were driving, uh, Lucky Liu started making a really, really bad noise. Uh, Uh, the wheel and uh, I put it on D so it starts spinning when it's spinning make the noise uh, and uh, what uh, I'm afraid is uh, that when it's spinning if I break uh, this wheel will not break uh, so probably it's, this brake is not working this is for sure because if I break uh, it should stop the wheel but she still spins. But when we started, we didn't have the noise. Why we never had the noise before? I don't know, probably it br just break. Uh, right like now. this? Yeah. Right Today. Now. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's so strange to me. It's raining, uh, it's dark, uh, so. We didn't feel confident to drive 60 kilometers south. During the night, uh, when it's raining. Uh, we contact Jorge and he, he like always he help us out for all the new subscribers Jorge it's uh, our friend uh, in California he is a businessman uh, he's a mechanic uh, he knows everything about the, these trucks and he has a lot of friends mechanic uh, so in Medellin a few a months ago or a little bit more more. A month, a month ago, yeah. He helped us uh, a lot. Uh. On the road is our our help. When we need assistance, he's the, the first one when, that we contact straight away. He always answer us, always uh, no answer. matter what time, uh, what yeah. day, he always is there for us. I was talking with Jorge and with Eva and I cannot, do, and with Luca, of course, and I cannot describe how I'm feeling in this moment. We are destroyed, like like you. It's. Uh, I don't want to panic, but it's really. <laughs> but it's really tough, guys. It's really tough to stay in the positive attitude. I'm smiling. I'm smiling because uh, Sarah was crying uh, till now, and uh, I was crying. I don't want to cry. I I just want to laugh because uh, it's getting uh, stupid. It's getting uh, funny. Like, uh, it's getting ridiculous. Ridiculous. It's That's getting the, the ridiculous. right word. I was crying because sometimes I need to. Um, get the stress get, get the out stress out in some way so i can uh, try to breathe and make a just okay everything is gonna be okay so i'm really positive i try to stay positive i try to always stay in a good mood but i really i want to share we want to share with you also this this moment because it's not always everything good yeah, especially if you start your journey with a $800 truck uh, with a uh, half a million kilometers. Uh. Now we we decided to stop and to invest some money to be like relaxed, yeah. and to be safe, and even that you didn't know, work. It didn't work. Wasn't enough. <laughs> Wasn't enough. But I can I think that could uh, happen as well with a new car with a new truck. So it's just you know the it's something that it's keep happening all the time we have no break we have no pause you say we want to stay relaxed for one week and just keep going uh, without thinking about the truck this is not happening yeah the, because it's a long time yeah the fact is that many of you will say yeah it's just money just put some money there and uh, fix the no, truck it's but money. it's not about the money it's about uh, that you get uh, 
shocked, like uh, you get traumatized. So now we want to go in places in the middle of nowhere where nobody is because that's what we love to do. Go on a less beaten path. And uh, we are scared now because every time uh, something ha happens, uh, we say, imagine if we were in the middle of the desert, imagine if we were in a, on, a, on a mountain in the middle of the jungle, on a on a beach with nobody there. But I think it's at scary. the same time, when you invest the money, then uh, you, in your mind, you think, okay, now I'm good. I can go, now I can go ahead, now is everything okay. At least this is what is happening in our brain. It's, it's normal. You just want to be okay. And it's not happening. And plus, uh, we're putting all these resources uh, in things that you cannot see. But uh, we need, uh, without yeah. this, uh, the, like you fixed, uh, we cannot keep traveling and uh, go on adventures in that amazing places that we want to share with you. So it's frustrating, but uh, I will keep positive. Uh, I think uh, it's part of uh, our adventure in the future. Uh, I think we will keep traveling because we love doing this. Uh, so if in other con continents uh, we will have uh, other vehicles uh, newer without all these problems, uh, I think we will be trained uh, uh, of all these challenges uh, that we have to go through, that it will be like, uh, wow, so easy with a new vehicle, with a new, I don't know, if we will ever be able to have a new vehicle, we hope. Ford, if you're listening this, please Ford, we are trying to do all the Pan American Highway from Alaska to Argentina with an old uh, Ford F-250. If you want to help us, please, uh, we are here and we need your help, Ford, please. Okay, guys, so these images from were, were from yesterday. This is what happened when we just got out of the mechanic and... Uh, we were ready to go south, to drive south. But uh, since uh, that happened, uh, we went back to the mechanic. Uh, we sleep there. This morning he arrived and we checked together what's going on with the car. So we fixed all the front part of the car. But since Lucky Liu underneath, it's really rotten. Uh, it's uh, it's all rusty. Some parts uh, are starting to, to fail. Now here is holiday. From today till uh, for four days will be holiday. So um, it's uh, Dia de Muertos. It's the day in, uh, in Ecuador, the Dia de los Muertos, the day of the death, is on the 2nd of November. It's more religious, it's not like a, cel a big celebration like in Mexico. Um, so we need to wait until Tuesday because uh, every mechanic is on holiday, everyone is off. If you want, go check up here the video. One year ago, we were in Mexico and uh, we made the Dia de Muertos uh, in Guadalajara. Yeah was really nice and cool, check the video up here. Mm. We are really stressed out because we had some plans, uh, some things that we wanted to do, some collaborations uh, of really cool stuff, uh, but um, unfortunately... That were, that were connected with the full moon, so it's something that you can do just one once in a month, because the full moon is just uh, happens, you know, one, uh, one time in a month. And we um, will miss that, uh, unfortunately. Mm. Now we really need to take a shower, so the owner of the mechanic shop, Marcelo, is offering us a shower. In uh, his house, his so house. we will go in his house, take a shower. We're really grateful for this. Yeah, guys, sorry if in this video we are not in the, in the best mood, uh, because uh, we try always to be positive and to be yeah. like uh, cool, but... Uh, we were talking uh, yesterday also with Jorge, our friend uh, in California and, and Eva, and, Eva, and uh, he was saying, uh, you know, your truck, uh, your camper, lucky you, he makes you or he breaks you. And in this part... Uh, I think it's not lucky Liu's fault. I think it is just how things go when you have an old truck. When you adjust one piece, then other parts could, could fail. Okay guys, so last shower was in Papayata. So gross guys, it was one week ago. Yeah. One week and one day ago. So, so the plan was to stay just uh, two days in Quito and now we are here since one week and we will stay here more because of uh, the fixing of the truck. But now we take a shower. Hot shower. 
Okay, guys, we are going underneath. Is it normal that if I move here? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what's going on because I, it's I, not coming from here. Sarah says it's not coming from here, it's coming for, from more. But it's coming from this part in the back. Backwards, I can, I, not from here. But it's from, coming especially from this side. Yeah, on this uh, on this part. Uh, anything like I, I, here, but I try I, to see inside. There is nothing touching. Uh, and when you were when you were accelerating and, and uh, braking, yeah. I was really focused on that part, and there is nothing touching. Yeah, this is moving. It, it looks like uh, the sound is coming from here, but it's no, not but coming it's from. More it's from more here. on the back. Hey guys. I don't know if you can hear me. The noise is coming from here. It's not coming from here. Can you see? It's moving. It, it shouldn't move like that, la, the cruzetta, right? Uh, the noise is coming from here, so... From here it's coming. And uh, the guy was wrong because here there is this scene. In Greece, sometimes uh, we get a little bit emotional because the stress is really high, and um, you know, it's our lives are involved. This is our home uh, since two years. Uh, this is just it's everything we have. Uh, we are on the road, we don't know anybody here. We are uh, just me and Sara, and Lucky Liu is everything for us. It's our home, it's our safe place. Uh, we we have everything in here. It's our kitchen, it's our... Um, Storage. Everything, uh, you know. When this happens, uh, we feel so vulnerable. You always said, uh, I, I felt like responsible or, uh, you know, you feel like it's your fault. It's your own fault, but it's not our fault. We receive a lot of comments uh, like uh, you should bring uh, Lucky Liu to the dump station, uh, then uh, what do you want? You got a $800 truck, uh, what do you expect? expect uh, and uh, we, we are not complaining about that. We are just like uh, trying to fix every time uh, what is breaking uh, and uh, we, we, will, we hope uh, that uh, every time uh, is like uh, okay at least for one month uh, or for two weeks uh, we can uh, not think about that uh, this time it happened too too fast uh, yeah in, but, a, in but, a row like, yeah and two uh, times in a row. like we are still grateful and happy because uh, uh, lucky you always breaks uh, in places where we are safe so for this uh, we are really grateful to Lucky Liu. Guys, we try to find the, the strength always to go ahead, to smile and we reach Argentina. Yeah. We started in Alaska. We started in Italy actually. We started in Alaska, we started in, uh, in Canada and as I said millions of times, this is a work in progress. When you start, when you start an adventure like this, if you don't have like an expedition plan, if you don't have a team, it's just the two of us. We are doing everything by We are ourselves. alone. We are alone. We are bringing you guys with us uh, and a uh, lot of you are helping us, uh, supporting us. Uh. For all the people that are saying us that we need to bring our truck to the dump station, I would say to you, okay, uh, bring your, your home to the dump station. Because it's too easy nowadays. When you have a difficulties, when you have a hard time, you just buy something new. You you give up with relationship, with friends, with job, with the phones. We always want something new. But the it's challenge is easier, it's easier. To get a, a new one. Everybody can uh, bring uh, their truck to a dump station and buy a new one. 
We can't. Uh, we don't, we don't want, have we don't the want, money. We don't want <laughs> troubles. We don't want troubles. We just want to do what we can afford to do. Before writing what you think, think before and then write down negative comments. Uh, you know, we don't care about negative comments because we have a lot of love. We receive a lot of love. We receive a lot of positive vibes from from beautiful people. But just think about, just think about this is not just a track. This is a home. And we started two years and a half ago in Canada. We have been living in here since two years and five months now. We are in the other continent, in the other side of the world, because we are not from the United States, we are from Italy. We, if uh, we have to go back home because something important happened to our family, we have to get a plane and we are far. We are not able to talk with them every day. Many people that give uh, all this for uh, for granted, for yeah. normal, ah, you go to another, this mechanic is not good, you go to another, ah, it's easy to find parts, it's not easy to find parts, it's easy to go to an honest mechanic, probably when you are when in your neighborhood, when you are, when you have friends, we are living and we are sleeping on the road, guys. Jose, me mostra si hay juego allá atrás. Si, aquí hay un pequeño juego. Aquí hay un pequeño juego. Ma sta dentro? In parte, in parte è la cruzetta. Però qui hai in, in el, dentro nel differenziale hai un piccolo gioco. This is the U joint, uh, as you can see. And right here, that's the problem. He lose the, all the, like the bearings. Uh, should be full, like this. It was dry and empty. That's a problem. So we will change uh, the three U joints that uh, we have on our dry shaft. Uh, so it's one, uh, two, and three. We will change the three U joints uh, and hopefully it will get us to Argentina. Hi guys, uh, so bad news uh, as you can see. There is all grease uh, inside uh, our brake. We had uh, here a retenedor that uh, let all the the oil come through the here the um, the differential, the rear differential oil go inside there. So the now I think we will have to change the shoes. We will have to rectificar the drum. And uh, probably we'll have to do it on both sides. Uh, and uh, here you can see the emergency brake wires. They are all rusted inside, so they are not working anymore. You can see there, they are all destroyed. Uh, and uh, we'll probably need to change, not probably, we need to change both. Uh, and it's about $100 each. Uh. We will need to change uh, the two bearings uh, and the two pieces that doesn't let uh, the oil. Uh, there is one uh, rubber piece here and another big seal here so the, the oil doesn't go back. The grease actually, the grease uh, and the oil doesn't go back to, to the brake. Uh, we don't want uh, that to be in there. This is one of the two um, cables that goes there uh, on the rear brakes uh, for the emergency brake uh, and as you can see here I can pull really strong but it's stuck inside perfect like as you can see here it's all nice and new perfect uh, and this one uh, as well there is a nice new meat uh, on there and uh, we will do this on the both sides uh, of the brakes uh, because uh, was really bad. So, new brakes, uh, new parts arrive uh, for our rear wheel. Perfect, uh, that's the one. So the oil will not go there in the brake anymore. We will have emergency brakes again, uh, look at that, all new. New shoes. Uh, New bearings is all new on this side too. 
just arrived the new joints uh, the new one and the old one Jose is putting the new U joints there Brakes done uh, Dry shaft uh, in position with the new U joints uh, One, two, three from there This is the second invoice we replaced the emergency brake cables, we replaced all the three U-joints, uh, the brakes, uh, and the total is $485.97. And we did the alignment for other $15.51. Unbelievable, this is not true. Guys, this is unbelievable. So we changed the U-joints, uh, we pay everything, uh, we went uh, out of the mechanic, uh, we started going, uh, you know, making groceries, uh, f uh, deciding to hit the road uh, and uh, and travel, and then uh, something starts shaking like crazy. So we came back, uh, I leave the car, and um, I saw underneath and the dry shaft now is shaking like crazy. Okay. That is the grease and it's pointing backwards. Okay. That one over there. Wait, wait, wait. It's pointing backwards Here. as well. Pointing and the front one there is put in front. That way. Also the last one has to point backwards, but the last one I can put point, for, point uh, forwards. Guys, what do you think it could be? The U-joints uh, installed uh, in a wrong way? Um, the dry shaft uh, wasn't shaking that way before we, we changed the U-joints. Uh. They said that we need to take off the dry shaft and bring it to another place and let's see what probably we need to replace all the dry shaft because there is no place that can balance yes. the dry shaft here. But we don't know. <laughs> and it's really expensive to yeah. do that. Uh, we are stuck here, we don't know what to do. We want to leave Quito and keep traveling. Uh. Yeah, if anyone uh, can help us, you have an opinion, if you have experienced something like this yeah. before, please let us know because it's really strange. We, di we didn't have any problems before and now after changing is something about the new pieces, the new parts or is something about something yeah. wrong in, in the work. If you know so, somebody here in Quito who can help us as well, please let us know. We so. haven't done the work yet, so this video is actually real, real, time real time with you. It's not too late to answer and to comment. Please let us know. In the meantime, consider to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done already and give us a thumbs up to this video. And hit the bell if you want to receive a notification every time we publish a new vlog. Thank you so much guys, thank you for the support, we love you, we appreciate you and see you in the next one. Yeah, we will be traveling uh, all around uh, South America with Lucky Liu, so new adventures, amazing places, uh, it's not only mechanic troubles, uh, will be a lot of uh, amazing adventure, positive vibes <laughs> and a lot of cool stuff. Uh, ciao guys! Ciao.